Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual on our first official day with Jed McCaleb with only 84.8 XRP. That's all he has. Everybody watching this video now has more XRP than Jed McCaleb, meaning every single major pump that happens from here on out to the future he will not be taking any benefit, will not be taking any part in that. He is completely gone. Now, Jen McCaleb, um, he's gone. He is gone. We no longer have to worry about him. Now the guy has $2.1 billion. Um, I hope he does some good in the world after his little file sharing company he had that he screwed over and left. Mount Gox, screwed over and left. Ripple, screwed over and left. Truly hope he does some good in the world with his $2.1 billion. And yeah, he actually uh, has left Stellar, we're hearing now. So, um, guy needs to like stick to something long term. So it seems like he has like commitment issues or something. Guys, whole cryptocurrency market, I know the coin market cap is like not showing that it's pumping. It is. It is. Okay, I don't know why Quim market cap sometimes because you know it's currently like 4:28 a.m. where I'm at right now, so it's only showing like four hours of price action. But the cryptocurrency market is pumping Bitcoin, absolutely ripping it into the 22.2k range, meaning that Bitcoin has just broken major, major structure, guys. It broke a major resistance right here after forming a solid bottom ground and it is now going to be moving to fill those gaps so i'm honestly thinking 30k bitcoin in the next week or so xrp following along in bitcoin steps check the xrp daily chart <clears throat> oh same exact thing as bitcoin but has not quite broken the resistance yet but guys what has xrp done local bottom has been established the market could not push past and penetrate this level at 30 cents, which is an old all-time high close for XRP. And you can see all the long wicks down there. The market tried and tried and tried. The bears got greedy. And now we are moving to the upside very, very sharply. And we have a gigantic gap from 45 to 64 cents. So do expect those prices in the next week or so. Okay, we are back in the bull run mode. I cannot even emphasize how fast crypto twitter has changed their tune on like it not being a bear market anymore like i remember like a few weeks ago everyone on twitter's uh, bear market bear market everything sucks now and then now i'm seeing charts for ethereum comparing it to 2016 17 and it looks exactly the same and it looks like ETH should be going back to 7 8k a coin or something it's so crazy how fast twitter will change their tune on just maybe 5-10% pump. All right. So you guys check this out here. Old support, broken, resistance. Now we're going to break that again. We have just, just billions in liquidity sitting up here. Markets always move to grab the liquidity and fill the gaps. This will happen. So do expect XRP 60, 70, 50 cents in the next week. I'm telling you guys, it is coming. So I have a ton of tabs on my computer off of Twitter. We're going to try to get through it as fast as possible. I don't want this video to be too long, but let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. But real quick, one more time, let's go for the XRP weekly chart. Absolutely beautiful, bouncing old 2018 bear market resistance levels. Maybe this was the true launch pad. I always said that I thought the uh, you know 86 cent level was the launch pad. But that's not correct. That wasn't like a super dramatic resistance. It wasn't a dramatic level for the XRP price. But my initial 86 cent launchpad theory, I only made that theory because that was just the final resistance before all time high, right? But I didn't realize that that's not that crucial of a level because we haven't been there that many times. And then my theory transferred into, you know, the, the 60 cent iron wall. Then the 60 cent iron wall failed. But the one thing that is not failing is the most historical level ever on XRP, the 30 cent level. This, this is the launch pad. This is the launch pad and you could already 
clearly see the market reacting to it here. And we got gaps all the way up. All the way up to 86, 85 cents, guys. Do expect near dollar XRP in the near future. And XRP is literally pumping as I am speaking. I want to go to the XRP Burst Watch 24-7 stream. Make sure you guys, after the video, tune into this thing, man. A lot of people in here daily chatting around and stuff. And I am literally dedicating an entire laptop I bought for like 800 bucks like two years ago. I am literally dedicating that entire laptop strictly to just running this stream. So make sure to just go out in there and hang out and tune in. All right, let's get through the news, guys. First one I want to start off with, Nick Crypto Crusader. The future is bright for XRP. XLS20 to go live, which is like this is the NFT thing on the XRP ledger. Flare launch. That's going to be amazing. Can't wait for those tokens. Ripple Liquidity Hub. They're building their own exchange competing with Coinbase. XRP is going to get the case win for sure. They will have to produce to him in emails. And so far, the SEC has not appealed releasing those emails yet. So maybe there's a little bit of a sort of settlement in the mix. SEC giving Ripple what they want in return for not having to release those emails. I'm not sure. ISO 20,022 launches. Possible utility. DPEG. Don't know what that means. Global ODL expansions, US-based quarters launch, mass exchange listings, Ripple IPO. Guys, the hype for the Ripple IPO is real because in terms of the Ripple investor seed funding rounds, there's like series A, B, and C. And the only time you do a series C funding round is when you're about to go IPO. Like you don't do series C and then not go IPO. Ripple has done series C. They have done all their investing fund, like, you know, investing funding rounds. And they're going to go IPO and they're waiting on just one thing, just one thing. And then they are going to go public and the mania that will cause will be crazy. I'm going to be personally getting some Ripple stock, not as much as XRP, but I'll be getting some good Ripple stock and that will bring so much publicity to the cryptocurrency market. Because the only cryptocurrency companies that have gone public have just been exchanges so far. Not like actual utility bank-driven cryptocurrency like Ripple and XRP. All right, next one, guys. Comes from XRP Crow. This is some old statements, but um, nonetheless, is good. We will be on the right side of history. And this is Brad Garlinghouse two years ago before the him and emails being, you know, demanded being produced. He's damn right about that. Next one. It's from April 2022. We'll hire over 300 people this year. Coinbase hiring. Ripple firing. Other exchanges going bankrupt. Ripple moving forward for an IPO. Another one. We're going through a little streak of some old statements here, but just to reinforce the idea that we are investing in the right instrument here. We moved $50 million worth of XRP into our company in three seconds and it costed us 30 cents. There is no way to do that with fiat or Bitcoin. Guys, Jed's taco stand wallet, it's official. Pe ple like People keep sending him XRP uh, over the last like, um, you know, 24 hours. I think this wallet has increased by eight XRP. I don't know why people keep giving Jeb and Caleb XRP. I understand people are trying to advertise their coin, but you don't need to send them one XRP. You could send them like, you know, this, like 0. 0.00001. So literally every shit coin in the world is using Jed McCaleb's account as a promotion because like so many people are watching his wallet right now, which actually I think is pretty smart because you are never going to get any sort of promotion as cheap as, you know, 0. 0.00001. That's honestly pretty smart. I do respect that. But guys, don't send him like tons of XRP, please. And then, yeah, this, here's his decentralized exchange wallet. So Jed McCaleb only has 86 XRP. And $70 million in his Bitstamp account. A little bit of a little bit jealous of that. A little bit jealous of that one, but um God Jed McCabe, little shithead. Next one. Now that Jed has finally sold off the last of his XRP, it has been estimated that he has earned a total of 3.09 billion and 708 Bitcoin since 2014. Most of his sales occurred after the SEC lawsuit against Ripple. 2.56 billion was cashed out after the 22nd of December 2020. So most of his money was made in the last two years. He dumped 10% of the supply in the last two years. Now it's time for the XRP recovery pump, having this parasite gone, and he will not be cucking any more pumps in the future. All right, a lot of people are like, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of people love to say, 
His selling had no effect on the XRP price. Dude, I highly doubt that considering he did 10% of the supply in the last two years. Like, did you guys see the thing on Twitter where some crypto project gave some girl like 1% of the tokens to like just shill the coin? And she dumped the whole 1% and it brought the coin down to zero. I mean, dude, yeah, 10% in two years. That did definitely did something to the price. That is definitely a reason we could point to for lackluster price action, which will no longer be there with us. He is gone. Um, check this out from uh, Nerd Nation Unbox. This guy's been posting a lot of SEC stuff lately. Uh, former SEC Commissioner John Reed Stark, quote, the SEC Gov is 94-0. and zero. They're winning all these cases. Oh, boy, they're not going to keep winning all of them, though. Maybe they do a little settlement or something to make it sound like they won to the public, but in reality, they didn't. Again, when the SEC went after Ripple, you know, and caused them, you know, $100 million in legal fees, they just thought it was going to be a quick win. They thought Ripple was another one of those companies they could just bully him into a $50 million payment. Oh, no, 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 no. Ripple is fighting for their life right now. They are not giving up, and they are winning the current case while the SEC is getting body slammed by the judge. All right. Guys, I love this one. XRP Productions. Calm down, folks. It's satire. Breaking news. This is huge. Satan resigns from the SEC. These guys are just too much. Honestly, love it, man. Love the satire. Next one. Um, here is just the general, you know, <clears throat> ETH Twitter search engine, and, like, people are getting freaking bullish all over again, like posting charts and stuff like that. I mean, that was a short position, but, um, you know, what I had prepared for you guys was not just all NFTs, but look, people are posting things like, oh, well, ETH is hundred today. ETH reclaimed his 200 week moving averages week. Bitcoin probably next week. The time to be bearish has definitely come to an end. When I look at uh, today's chart of Ethereum and compare it to 2017, 2016, 17, I really get goosebumps. Even the floor structure is identical. If it continues like this, we will see the biggest alt season since Jan 17, June 17 on a larger scale. Be prepared. This is Ethereum 2016, 17, Ethereum now. I mean, God dang, bro, that does look pretty dang familiar. Um, yeah, I'm honestly, I am for this. I don't like Ethereum, but I am stacking, you know, I got two graphics cards for, you know, lottery mining Ethereum. And um, yeah, I think this is probably right on par. And like just the whole... ETH Twitter, you know, search terms on Twitter right now. It's like everything has really just flipped this. Like the, the sentiment is flipped. The sentiment is flipped. Like, look, ETH going straight to 10,000 now. Yeah, it's like, dude, it's like they crypto Twitter changes their minds so fast, so fast. And honestly, glad to see everyone just, you know, excited again and not just depressed and in a bear winter I'm telling you guys we're not in a bear market yet we're not there yet trust me we're not there yet i don't think bitcoin and ethereum all they do is triple all-time high and that, then you call that the whole bull market no dude no 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 crypto gets much more crazy than that and i don't think we've had a true alt season yet the next one guys this is kind of funny when we first discovered leverage with the homies this is honestly true man leverage can blow up in your face very very quick I mean, we didn't see the beginning of the video, but here's how the end of the video ends. <laughs> and there's what the beginning of the video looks like. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> All right. Next one. Watch your guru, Justin. India's Minister of Finance says the Reserve Bank of India believes that cryptocurrency should be prohibited. I don't know what it is with, like, Russia, India, and China, but they are all, like... Every single year, they have like, oh, you know, we love crypto. Oh, no, we're going to ban all of it. Oh, we're just legalizing it, and we're banning holding crypto. I, I I don't know what it is with these three countries. Just make a decision, dude. Make a decision. And the last one, love this, guys. Cryptoons, fingers crossed. Let's throw away the keys. I love it. Make sure, you guys, after you tune in this video, do smash likes and leave an obligatory supportive comment below and go over into the Burst Watch stream, even though we just got a little bit of a dump here, but a very active chat dedicating a whole laptop with a, you know, 1650 in it. Make sure you just go into it on the stream because this stream is never going to go down unless I decide to personally go live. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.